Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to do a look at a knife that I've had for the past few months and have been really enjoying. Uh, you guys, there's nothing new. Um, these knives are pretty hot on the kind of custom, semi-custom or high-end knife market right now. And this is the uh, Shurogorov Mod 95. Okay, so I scored this off the USN for a great price. This actually belonged to um, Robbie over at uh, Smoke Eater 908, that's his channel. Um, he put it up for a great price and I managed to score it, so I'm really happy about that. This is the uh, yeah, Mod 95 with G10 inlays, frame lock, uh, with some, you know, a bit of milling on the pocket clip. And um, this does not have uh, bearings, this is just the uh, washers, uh, but it still flips um, amazingly. And of course, uh, I've got a bead on here. This is from Andrew over at Edge Observer. So, really awesome titanium bead. But anyways, back to the knife. So, uh, what's there to say that hasn't really been said already? I don't know. This is probably one of the best production flippers you'll find out there on the market. The tolerances and um, machining and everything about this knife is just really well put together. Um, just from the overall aesthetics and the fit and finish. Um, I've been kind of thinking to myself, if Chris Reeve were to make a flipper knife, it'd be something like this. You know, really, really nice. Um, so it does have the... Um, it is proprietary hardware, but you can use a... Uh, what I used to adjust the pivot was a dime with a bit of duct tape wrapped around it, just so I don't scratch it up. Um, it's got the Shur Shurogorov logo there. And yeah, same screws for the hardware standoffs. And there's the pocket clip. Really nice machine pocket clip. And uh, even and just while I'm here, while we're here, you can see here, they've milled out the area of the, of the G10 so that it's easier on your pocket to get in and out. It's just little things like that that make Schroegrab knives um, really, really nice. You know, their attention to detail is amazing. And it's got a lanyard hole just on one side here, which is interesting. But um, I kind of like that because I find sometimes when the lanyard is through both holes, it just doesn't look as nice, you know. It tends to flop everywhere, but this is this is cool. This is good. Um, the pivot system is interesting. So what you're looking at here is on this side, that little screw hole in there is actually, I think it's a tensioning screw. So in order to take it out, what I had to do um, was to take this out with just your, uh, with an Allen key, and then I had to open the knife, keep the blade in the open position, and press my thumb on this side and twist it with the dime on this side to get it open. And, um, oh yeah, big shout out to uh, Oromoto, who's, oh, I guess he's known as David Lawman now. Um, it was through some messages on the USN where he helped me get the knife apart, because at first I was totally stumped on how to take it apart and the knife needed some cleaning and some lube and um they didn't know what to do so i found some websites that were in russian and um that didn't help a whole lot but um with a few back and forth messages he was able to help me um, and guide me through getting this knife apart so it's got a four inch yeah about four inch blade and even though it's a large larger blade i guess four inches is a bit larger than some people carry i normally carry you know 3.5 around 3.5 inches. It doesn't um, carry as a large knife, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like, um, it's a large blade, but because they packed it so well into this handle here, like as you can see, they don't, they don't waste any handle here. Come on, focus. Anyways, sorry about that. Um, but as you can see, or just about make out, the blade, yeah, there we go, goes almost all the way to the tip of the hand, or the end of the handle here. And that's great, you know, you're getting a lot of kind of blade, um, you're getting a really good blade to handle ratio, you know, so you don't have a huge clunky knife um, in your pocket for a large, for a blade this size. So deployment is great. Um, it was a little stiff when I first got it because, as I said, it needed some cleaning. But it, um, even though it doesn't have the multi row or the single bearing, pivot system it does have a bit of blade fall it doesn't really you know do that thing where you shake shut but that's not necessarily a bad thing sometimes i find that's a bit safer for a knife if it doesn't close on you that way um you don't have any kind of accidents where the knife just closes on you ergos are great 
Um, yeah, it just feels great in hand. No jimping, but it's not necessary. And uh, if you look at this area, this has been mentioned before, but they've milled out this area here so that um, when you deploy the flipper, your finger has it kind of slides into that slot and it just feels a bit nicer, it's a bit more comfortable. And um, another point of detail, if you look really closely at the flipper area. I'll try to get it in focus first. Here we go. You can see they've polished this area, this kind of bevel, the beveling on the um, the flipper, which is really awesome. Sorry, this knife's a little dusty or linty. It's been in the pocket, but um, yeah. That's really cool. See how it's polished there? That's a really awesome little detail, you know? And of course, no blade play. It feels like a fixed blade. Really excellent. No up and down, no side to side. And um, yeah, really awesome knife. These are going for a lot on the secondary market right now. Um, not as high as they were maybe, I don't know, six months ago. But um, if you can get them, I would highly suggest it. Um, this is one of the best quality um, high-end production knives I think you can get out there for the money. If you can get them at a decent price. Um, yeah. But overall, yeah, one of my current favorite carries, guys. Really awesome knife. Definitely worth checking out. So, um, yeah, and just to give you a bit of size comparison, I'll put the Chris Reeve large... 21 micarta next to it which i think is actually a really good comparison because um you've got two kind of high-end production knives and uh, they have similar aesthetics i might do a comparison video in the future between these two but um yeah there you go shirogrov i hope i'm saying that right mod 95 excellent knife and this one has the uh, s35 vn steel um i think you can see it right there Come on, focus. Still getting used to this camera. But um, I think you can just about make it out there. There you go. All right. So uh, that's about it. Any questions or comments, please let me know. And um, as always, I will see you guys on the next video. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.